Pete here with a quick update on Pfizer. Now, of course, if you've seen my videos and my channel, you'll know I've been bullish on Pfizer. Uh, a couple stocks, but primarily Pfizer for the most part. And I'm going to explain why once again, because a couple people have been asking and saying, hey, you know, there's so much going on and why are you, are you picking Pfizer only? But when you're looking at Pfizer, Pfizer is the only company that did not accept money from the government. The main reason why is because they do not want to share. Pfizer is a business that's for profit. And of course, when companies make profit, they tend to go up. So Pfizer went over 38 and actually came down like sadly, like a lot of stocks do. But I always like to say that this is the calm before the storm. And when you're looking at Pfizer, of course, in my opinion, they're on their phase three trial. They, sh in my opinion, should have been able to get approval already for the coronavirus vaccine. Um, so that's one thing right there. And let's look at the math here. Of course, right now they are dipping down 38 cents today on the 21st. But basically, here's the article. Let me show you the first one. Uh, Pfizer, BioNTech, race to meet global COVID-19 vaccine needs. Um, so when you looked at this, this basically talks about their late stage trial. Pfizer said that they technically might be able to seek emergency approval, and they did do that in Europe and some other areas. In America, they're told they have to wait uh, one or two months, that's after the election. <laughs> and here's the bottom of the article right here. This is my math on the side, which I'll explain to you. But it says the U.S. government placed an initial order of 100 million doses with the option to purchase 500 million additional doses. The EU ordered 200 million doses with the option for another 100 million doses. The government of Japan ordered 120 million doses and Britain ordered 30 million doses. All orders are subject to regulatory approval and only the price of the U.S. deal, 1.9 billion, has been disclosed so far. So I'm going to use the math, keep everything the same, and get a general idea of what's going on. Maybe some are more, maybe some are less, but keep in mind this is just a generalization. So we're looking at the contract price, $1.9 billion. Um, that basically comes 100 million doses at $19.50 per dose. The additional doses here are all 950 million doses. <laughs> So at the cost of 19.5, we're looking at additional income of 18,525,000,000. And when you add in the 1.9 billion already ordered, not part of this total, that would mean Pfizer's current contract, which are leading the race, keep in mind, in the vaccines, is 20,400,000,000 million. When you're looking at that in general, <laughs> okay, I can hate the internet. Okay, and when you're looking at that in general, they got $20,475,000,000 in expected revenue. They're leading the vaccine race, and this is so cheap right now. Where could their stock go in the future? I don't know. This is not information, by the way, to buy or sell any stock. Uh, do so at your own risk. Don't take my advice. This is for entertainment only. But if you don't know what I'm doing already, <laughs> you're pretty foolish. Well, it's Pete with the Small Business Resource Center. I hope you had a great time. Let me know what you're invested in or what you think about this stock. Smash a like button if this helped you. Share this information uh, to a friend and have a great day.